Hey all, this is Porty1119 with Head Frame Hunters. I'm gonna tell you a real funny story. That story is called How I Bought the Navajo Nation's Air Track Drill for $55. That's the uh, Ash Peak Mines compressor back there. Just funny note there. So, I got a notification for an online equipment auction in New Mexico and Colorado. Being in New Mexico, I was pretty interested. Well, I perused through it. You know, it's about 20 pages of listings and a lot of dozers, a couple skid steers, some cars and trucks. I just noticed something on this, but I'll continue. Miscellaneous junk, air compressors, and an air track drill. All the I saw the bidding at the air track drill was at thirty. It was at uh, three dollars. So, morning the auction was going to be closing. I got on my computer, pulled up the auction site, and took a look. Well, bidding was up to I think seven dollars, and wound up bidding it up to. $55, well, it only topped out at $55, and it is now here. I also got free shipping. It turned out it was about five minutes off the route for the trucker that we had bring the young buggy down. Free three-day shipping on a $55 air track trail. That's a new one. And if you don't know what a, an air track drill is, it's just uh, it's exactly what it sounds. It's a air-powered drill on a tracked crawler carrier. And uh, the motivator is actually pneumatic as well. This one's a Gardner Denver 3100A with a... Sorry, that's reversed... It's a PR-231B hammer. Now what PR-231B signifies is that it's a pneumatic reversible hammer. In other words, the rotation can be reversed independently of the drill power. Take a look here. We've got rotation, which is what I just said. Blow, which with the uh, hollow core drill steel allows you to blow air, blow compressed air down the drill steel to blow cuttings out of the hole. Drill, which is exactly what it sounds, and feed. Feed being to move the hammer on the feed rail. Now this feed rail chain is broken, but it's not really a big deal. That hammer right there, just the hammer, is about $5,000. The whole carrier itself, up to 30000 depending on who you ask. 55 bucks. Now, the thing I noticed earlier is inside the rail, I think you can see that, is CF&I. Now, CF&I is Colorado Fuel and Iron. They're a... Uh, I don't know if they're defunct or not, but they're not mining anymore. Or a mining outfit. That milled steel in Colorado, as you would probably expect. So that kind of explains to me how this got into the hands of the Navajo Nation. The ship rock is not especially far from... Southern Colorado. Now, the controls being located where they are on this machine is noteworthy. It's ideal for, say, uh, doing a long exploration drill hole into a rib in a mine. Because your, your rail is going to be in a pretty similar position to what it's at right now. I mean, raised up a fair bit, 
But in this position, standing right here, you'll be able to watch your watch your hole. Make sure you don't lose your water into a crack or anything like that. Versus having the controls on the back end of the drill, which is pretty common. And this one does appear to have been converted because there's a big valve spool in there. And this right here is your trammer, the tramic controls. It's just a joystick, forward, backward. Guess it doesn't really want to go with, oh. I'm stupid. Got two levers right there. And here's your hitch pintle, which you can hook up to a compressor. So on top side, you'll oftentimes trailer the compressor behind the drill rig, and underground, you'll hook it up to mine air. And these are great big air motors, kind of like what you'd see on a, an Imco overshot mucker or an air trammer. But that pretty well sums up what an air track drill is. So as always, this has been 401119 Pet Frame Hunters with the Gardner Denver 3100A air track drill. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Adios.